26th March 2015, what happened? India was kicked out of the World Cup and uh, the immature among us wanted Dhoni's head. <laughs> the rest of us decided you know, he's, he's done a big, he's done a sacrifice. And I do agree he did do something big. I like Dhoni. I mean, he is the captain of the world's greatest cricket team. I'm not talking about India. It's a nice about <laughs> So, there is one more man who made an incredible sacrifice that day. And uh, his story did come up in the papers as well. But I'm not sure if you guys know who he is. It's okay, it's not a sin if you're ignorant about him. I'll let you know. So this man, his name was Floyd Lawton. Any of you heard of Floyd Lawton? No. Floyd Lawton was a sniper. He was trained by the United States Marine Corps. He was ambidextrous with the use of the rifle. And uh, he served in the army. He had a loving wife whom he had just gotten married to. And she was pregnant when he left for war. He, just like Dhoni, yeah, just like Dhoni. Three years later, he returned. He returned home after war. They won the war, luckily. Furthermore, what happened was Floyd Lawton had had enough of violence, enough of suffering. He wanted a desk job. He wanted to spend time with his daughter, with his wife. Peaceful desk job. What he didn't realize is that although he had left the battlefield, the battlefield was still very much in mind. Wherever he went, he could see the tormented faces of his friends. He could hear their screams in the night. He was completely restless. He was not able to focus on anything. He could not get himself a steady job. So life after war was just as bad as the war itself. But he knew that he would move on. He knew that the day would come and he could pick himself back up. And he knew that it was his family support that is going to get him where he is. But what he did not know was that in three years, his wife had also changed. His wife was no longer the loving woman she was. She was nagging. She did not want an unstable man in her life. Okay, there's still his daughter. No. His daughter didn't recognize him. She couldn't bear to see a stranger at home. So, tormented everywhere. On one particular day when he had an argument with his wife, he took out his gun. He didn't shoot her. It was just an impulse that made him take out his gun. He realized what he did. He put it back. What did his wife do? She called the cops. Floyd Lawton sent to prison for one action. For one impulse, he was sent to prison. What happened after that? He was in prison for years. After he got out of prison, he was put a restraining order so he could not meet his family again. But you know, all this resulted in an epiphany in Floyd Lawton. Floyd Lawton realized what he needed the most in life. He didn't care about family, he cared about money. Floyd Lawton realized that love was not meant for him. Love was a bullet in his brain. What did he do? He took up a new job. He became an assassin. He became a hired gun who would kill people for money. So after numerous successful assassinations, Floyd Lawton was finally convicted. He was given multiple life sentences and a death sentence. Well, Floyd Lawton's story doesn't end here. It gets worse. So what happens after this is the United States Secret Service have an organization within them called the Task Force X. So the important thing about the Task Force X is that all those activities which are considered illegal, which the government cannot do, which is unethical, they hire felons with particular skills to carry these missions out for them. What do these felons get? A lighter sentence. And what is the price they pay? Well, if they screw up, if the mission is compromised, they are written off. They are killed. If information about the mission is leaked, they are killed. This is what Floyd Lawton takes up after prison. After, I mean, to escape his life sentence. Well, he does rise in the ranks among the Task Force X. He becomes the head of the Task Force X. He mentors a lot of people, but he does like to advocate his thoughts, his beliefs that you know, for people like him, for pe members of the Task Force X, they, they don't get to have families. They don't get to be happy. For them, mission is the most important. Some people disagree, but he was very firm on what he wanted. On 26th March 2015, the day I just mentioned, there was an uprising, there was a terrorist attack actually, in the Republic of Kazakhstan. There were some US officials involved, but the government did not want to show their public involvement in this, so they sent the Task Force X. Floyd Lawton, as the leader of the Task Force X, went to the Republic of Kazakhstan to save the American people. What happened after that? Well, what the thing is, the American people, their families, they were saved, 
Royal Lawton sacrificed himself. He died in a bomb blast, so he could live. What do you think of Royal Lawton now? I mean, is he as big a hero as Dhoni? Is he a bigger hero than Dhoni? Or is he someone who's wrong for you know, ranting out at his wife? I'd say Floyd Lawton is a hero. And I would request everyone to stand up for a moment so that we could grieve the passing of Floyd Lawton. Request. <laughs> So if we were to move on to know more about Floyd Lawton, they are, they are going to make a movie on Floyd Lawton in the coming days. Director David Ayer is the one making the movie on Floyd Lawton and uh, Will Smith is playing the role of Floyd Lawton. There is one more important piece of trivia that you people should know about Floyd Lawton. Floyd Lawton has another name, his assassin name. That was Deadshot. The Task Force X has another name, the Suicide Squad. The head of the Task Force X is this woman called Amanda Waller, and she has a rival whom you all know. His name is Batman. Floyd Lawton is fictional, he does not exist. But I still love him. Thank you.